actual five minute vintage trick versus the five minute ones everybody says takes five minutes that really take like 20. Hello my friends and welcome back to The Air Effect. So today I want to share with you the first and what I hope will be a reoccurring series on my channel which is The Lazy Girl's Guide to Vintage Style. I have had this idea in my head for actual years but I just never started it because I didn't know how to start, I didn't know what all that would encompass, I didn't think I had enough ideas for it, I didn't think it was interesting enough, but I get enough questions about the very easy and simple things that I do in my day-to-day -day style that I think it will be a good series to have. I can't think of any one place where I would go to find simple, easy, everyday, wearable ways you can apply vintage into your life. So hopefully this will be useful to all of you. Today I am not wearing vintage, I am wearing a full-length maternity dress and it's not at all a vintage style, but with this little trick on my head, I still look vintage. And so I'm going to share that with you today. This particular trick I think is a really good one to start with because it is based on and directly inspired by this photo of Hedy Lamarr with the middle part and the turban. I've kind of adapted it into my daily life when I don't have enough time or energy to get ready. But yeah, let's get into this hairstyle, how I do it, how easy it is, and help you all learn how to look vintage on a really lazy hair day. Okay, so I've taken my hair down, I've taken everything out of it that I had, and all you are really going to need for this is a bunch of bobby pins depending on how well your hair will pin up. You're going to need a headscarf that is large. This one is a square scarf and you will need a square scarf that is approximately 40 inches long. And that's it. If you have particularly tangly hair you might want to brush it first um, but otherwise that's all you need. Just bobby pins and a big scarf. A lot of people avoid silky slippery scarves like this one that are made out of polyester or silk or anything that's shiny and will move a lot because they struggle with keeping it in their hair. But I have a really really easy trick for that. Um, actually two really <laughs> easy tricks for that. One is to make sure that your scarf is big enough. If I were to try this hairstyle with a smaller scarf in the same material, it would probably fall off or slip up in the back or not stay in place. But because the scarf is really big, that helps it to have enough fabric that it's not fighting with the tension of being around my head, being around my hair, being everywhere. The second trick for keeping a slippery scarf in your hair is to bobby pin it in place. So for the hairstyle, <laughs> Literally the easiest thing that you will do is part your hair down the middle, um, however neatly or not neatly you want to, uh, and just in the front, and pull these sections over to the side so that they're smooth, and pin them in place. This should work even if you have bangs or short hair. You just can choose where you're going to pin because really all the hair you're going to see is going to be right here. I always have to use two pins crossed over each other just because my hair is stubborn. But once you have that pinned, the rest of your hair, just get it out of the way. I like to twist it up in the back so it's not too bulky, but you could put it in a ponytail, you could put it in a bun, whatever you want to do. Anything to keep it back. And it also doesn't matter if it's really messily pinned. You will need to keep out two pins for later, so don't use them all. And once your hair feels secure, you're going to take your headscarf, and I'm sorry you can't see this part, but you're going to fold it into a triangle, and then have the tip over your forehead, and the rest at the base of your neck, and tie it like so around your head, and flip this part back, and tie a bow. I like the bow to be fairly large and I like to spread out these edges because then you're going to take your pins and pin the bow in place so it's not floppy. And I also will take the ends of the triangle and pin those alongside this side. 
One trick is to put your ends inside the bow before you pin it. Um, and another trick is to point your pins like downward, so this way, because that will keep it flat, rather than if you were to pin it this way, this would still puff up a little bit, unless you want it to puff up because that's totally fine. And that is literally it. <laughs> that is all I do for this hairstyle. It is just a triangle tied over my head into a bow and it hides all the hair in the back and it looks vintage and it's directly inspired by a vintage photograph. It is really, really a lifesaver on days when you just don't have the energy or you don't have the time but you still want to look really cute and vintage. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know it's very, very simple, but I think that it would be really nice to have a playlist of super simple, easy, quick vintage hacks to use every day to look vintage and not have to spend a lot of time on it. If you want to see more of my Lazy Girl's Guide to Vintage Style, don't forget to let me know if you like this idea for a series down below. Subscribe so that you can see more of my videos and until I see you again, have a beautiful day and thank you for watching. Bye! <laughs> you gotta love it when you've watched so many other YouTubers that you forget what your own outro is. That just happened. Lazy Girl's Guide to Vintage Style. Why is that so hard to say? It's not going well. Maybe that's why I never started this series.